So you fat boy. And I yell, you know, I, Lieutenant Boggy, Lieutenant Boggy, it's me. And he come over and he looked down and he said, what the hell are you doing here, Haley? He said, I sent you off the beach last night. I said, look, I'm back. So I was back on the beach again. So uh, they loaded all the uh, uh, wounded aboard and we pulled out of there. But, uh, but, you, but you, without your father, I'd still be on the, probably on the beach because that was only only one land craft in there that night, you know, because they they weren't operating the dock out there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, he was a great guy. He's uh, he took us from the time of, uh, when it's an ensign, you know, patrol leader, and trained us, you know. And you trained hard, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, we, we kept trained. saying that. You, Man, we, we kept saying that over and over. We, we spent train, more train. days on the in the water and the packs. You know, after we worked on the water all day, we had a, it was about a 12 mile march back to the camp area. And, Where was this now? Where were you training? In Fort Pierce. Fort Pierce. And by the we get back with full packs and you went on your rifles. We had the big rifles then. You were in good shape then, weren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. we all were in good shape. Yeah. But anyway, uh, oh, that's good. We, uh, oh, I love Joe. He's a great guy. You guys had a good platoon, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. probably one of the best. But the thing, we didn't know the other. Did you know we never knew anybody in B Company? And we didn't. Not the guys. We never knew anybody you guys outside on your own. our own platoon. Why was that? I don't know. It's the way we trained. Yeah. We trained as a group, you know? So how many years, how long, how many months did you train with my father? Oh, uh, in Camp Bradford. I trained there. We came in all together out of boot camp. That's a different story. We went down in Norfolk. I was going to meet my new ship. I said, well, maybe I'll get a can or the, a, a cruiser or, or something. Uh, when I got off of the troop train in uh, Norfolk, and I knew a lot of the guys that I trained with, they, and they, they said uh, G and the H's, which was a good rich, so he, he was a boot camp not in my company, but some in my company. And the H, they ran up. All you guys get over there to the right. And I said, why the hell? Where, what are we getting, a special ship? Anyway, the next thing you know, the, I see guys I hung around with, and so, you know, in high school, and they're getting cruises and cans and the carriers or something, and we're still standing there. Next thing, a deuce and a half army trucks pull up, and I said, all right, load your, load your gear. I said, where the hell are we going? Never mind, just get aboard. <laughs> Next thing, we're, they took us from the, these army deuce and a half out to Camp Rapid, what you call Little Creek later on. And we got off there, and they said, we figured, what kind of a place is this? <laughs> well, we were in a state of shock. We were just in... Is that where you first met my father? Yeah, well, he came in there to train. You know, he was reassigned there. We didn't know him. And uh, next thing they issued us those Army uh, Navy jumpsuits, you know. That they, uh, and then they said, okay, well, tomorrow we're going to clean up your rifles. What rifles? <laughs> they said, the we issued, <laughs> issued your rifles tomorrow, and you guys... We figured, I don't need a goddamn rifle <laughs> on the destroyer or a cruiser. And didn't the Army always say, well, you guys, oh, you don't know how to they, clean your rifles. Well, you anyway, they used to a pack, a Cosmoline cleaning the, it was a 1917 U.S. Navy infield. And those were, they were, uh, they were good rifle. Oh, they were good rifle. You, you could hit anything, you know, even if you were a bad shot, you could hit something with them in 300 yards, but they, uh, So on we'll, D-Day, you were number four off the ship? I was four or five uh, behind your father. You uh, went first? Yeah. And then cruising? Cruising, oh no. Him and the executive officer, Redden, I think his name was. And somebody what do you remember coming off that ship? Well, I seen, uh, I seen the hi. This is my wife. Hi there. How are you? Uh, we Gloria. met earlier. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, indeed. 
the um, <laughs> Joe was um, <laughs> Lieutenant Boggy was number one in, in some Boggy. It was number one in the court man. And then we had then we had uh, little boats, strictly. And uh, on the port ramp, Stabat ramp, had trouble. We were the that was the first LCI that landed on, on Easy Red on Omaha. Mm -hmm. One of the first. It was a Coast Guard man. They come up from North Africa and they had a little trouble in North Africa. Anyway, it was Lieutenant Vloggy and I little boat, Strickland. And I can't think I think it was fourth. I was number four on the port ramp. C8 was on the port ramp. Mm -hmm. And the next thing in the ramp, we started coming in and when the, the cruisers were firing over in the, the, the wagon, the, the back, and they had started firing on the, over the beach and around a half hour before, or, or before we did. So the, all the fire, all you could see of the beach when we got in about 200, uh, 2,000 yards, around 1,000, 2,000 yards with smoke. Everywhere smoke. Everywhere smoke and haze. We couldn't see anything. Next thing on the port ramp, we looked over and somebody said, there's an LCT. And the Germans had a straddled back. 